Hey everybody, it's Dr. Sam Robbins. Today's question is, what's the optimal level of vitamin D in a blood test? Now, if you don't know by now or haven't heard, vitamin D is an awesome vitamin. It's a fat-soluble vitamin. In fact, technically speaking, it's not really even a vitamin. It's a hormone. It's actually a steroid hormone produced by the kidneys. That's why it's so powerful because, again, it's a hormone. Unfortunately, the problem is many of us are low or, in, or actually deficient in this powerful vitamin or hormone. So how do you know what levels you are if you're at the optimal level or low level of vitamin D? Well, the best and most accurate way is to actually do a blood test and measure the 25-hydroxy vitamin D. It's a 25-hydroxy vitamin D test. Now, let's say you took the test and you got the results. So what is considered an optimal level for just health, fitness, and longevity? Well, the range is from zero to 100 nanograms per milliliter. Okay, anything less than 25, you're low. In fact, anything in the teens, you are painfully deficient. And I say painfully because vitamin D levels will cause you pain uh, when they're very, very low, such as bone pain, muscle pain, and so forth. Now, between 25 to 35, this is borderline low. It's not good. Sadly, this is where a lot of people are, including myself, many years ago. Now, some experts say that the optimal range is between 35 to 60. And I believe this is a good range for the average person. Personally, though, after viewing hundreds or even thousands of blood tests over the years and seeing how healthy a person is and how it correlates to the vitamin D levels, I like levels to be between 75 to 90. Now, this is a little bit higher, 75 to 90. But this is especially important if you exercise a lot or you live a very stressful lifestyle, you know, physically or emotionally, you're not a good sleeper. Basically, any form of stress will deplete it. Now, some will say anything over 90 to 100 is toxic, but there's no clinical studies showing this. Of course, as with anything, more is not better. So, after all is said and done, the optimal range is between 35 to 75, and I like it over 50 as the minimum. Now, keep in mind, you shouldn't just go out and you know supplement with any form of vitamin D. First, it needs to be the correct form of vitamin D3, not the regular D or D2, which is found in most cheap supplements or multivitamins. Second, all, vitamin D3 works directly with another fat-soluble vitamin called K2. In fact, more specifically, MK7. These two together help optimize the absorbability and the safety so you can maximize the benefits while reducing any of the negatives. Also, regarding vitamin K, you don't want to take regular K1 or K2 or even the synthetic K3. It must be the K2, specifically the MK7 version. So, don't take either of these vitamins by themselves. Only take the D3 plus K2 forms together in one pill at the same time, preferably in the morning with food. And that's the goal. Of course, now you might be thinking, so, you know, what should I take? How much should I take? What's the best dose? What's the best brand? You know, what company do I trust? And so on and so forth. Look, these are all important questions that I had to ask myself over a decade ago when I had low levels of vitamin D myself. Now, below this video in the description area, I've listed the best D3 K2 supplement that my family and I take, which utilizes the correct dosage, form, and ratios of the clinically researched versions of these two vitamins. It's called Perfect Vitamin D and K. The best part is all you need to take is one small pill daily, and it does it all, saving you both time and money, which is what I love. So scroll down. Click the link uh, below, take a look at the ingredients. Then most importantly, give it a try and let me know how it works for you. Hopefully this video was helpful. If it was, please give it a thumbs up, share it with others. Uh, if you aren't already subscribed, please do so and click the notification icon so you will be notified of similar videos. Please leave your questions and comments below. Let me know what you learned today, what you liked, what topics you want me to cover in the future. And as always, thanks for watching, thanks for listening, and wishing you a very happy and healthy day.